Good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure to welcome you all to the Hampton Classic Horse Show for one of our favorite days of the year, the championship finals of the Long Island Horse Show Series for Riders with Disabilities. At this time, I would like to introduce to you the executive director of the Hampton Classic, Shanette Cohen. Thank you, Marty. Well, I am so excited for a glorious day to have um, the finals for the Long Island Horse Show Series for Riders with Disabilities. And I also want to thank our sponsor, Bridgehampton National Bank, for their ongoing support of these finals. I saw, I don't see a whole lot of the competitors here now because they're all lined up, but I saw a lot of familiar faces. I know there's going to be great sport and competition going on today, and I wish everyone the best of luck. I think it's going to be a, a fabulous day. I can't wait to watch all the action. Our next speaker is someone that I believe all of you know well, the founder of the Long Island Horse Show Series for Riders with Disabilities, Katie McGowan. Good morning everybody, good morning competitors, families, and friends. Thank you very much, Jeanette, for having us once again. This is the highlight of our day of the year, you know, our best day of the year too. So we appreciate everybody coming out today. What a glorious day it's going to be. Thank you to our committee members for the Long Island Horse Show Series. Thank you to all our volunteers that make this possible and make it happen. And this year I want to say thank you to Neptune Feed and Saddlery and Triple Crown for sponsoring, uh, being our event sponsors for our breakfast and our lunch today. So thank you. Good luck to everybody. I'm going to turn it back over and um, we will get started with our awards in just a moment. We are privileged to have a special guest with us here this morning, one of the top Grand Prix riders, not just from this country, but in the world. He has been in the Olympic Games, has won the World Cup Finals, he is a top Grand Prix winner, not only in this country, in his native Canada, in Europe, one of the top riders, as I said, in the world, good friend of mine, Mario Delarier. Thank you, Marty. Um, I'm very happy to be here with you guys this morning. I know this is a great cause, and uh, I've done it in the past uh, in Bromont, Canada. We had a uh, similar uh, fun days like this called Les Jeunes Écuyers, and I think it's uh, wonderful that Jeanette and the whole Hampton Classic puts this on, and, and I wish luck to everybody today. Thank you. Mario. Mario is going to stay with us when we do the awards presentations. Everyone who rides at the Hampton Classic is a champion. That includes all of our riders here today. And now to conduct the program, I'd like to invite up Jamie Thomas Martin.
we're going to start by calling in our qualifying riders for our leader sidewalker division. First we have Victoria Natale. Diane Ehrman. <laughs> Isaiah Forte. Division, Joshua Gutnick. Tyler, have a check. 
Joe Penzel. Riders demonstrate the halt, please. All halt. And riders, we are going to ask that you please line up and you may face the bleachers. The 
place awards. Entry number 1754, Isaiah Forte of West Hampton, New York. We're with Shanette Cohen, Executive Director of the Hampton Classic Horse Show. Shanette, this is the ninth year the Hampton Classic has hosted these championship finals for the Long Island Horse Show Series for riders with disabilities, and I know it's one of your favorite days of the year. It really is. It's such a wonderful day. They start off with a participation participation breakfast. Everyone who qualified to participate here um, by competing all spring and summer gets to come to a breakfast. They get to meet a celebrity, um, a celebrity Grand Prix rider. We had Mario Delorier join us earlier to hand out all the ribbons and it's just such a wonderful morning and then the competition itself is great. It's, it's, it's a nail biter a lot of the time. Well we know that when you became executive director of the Hampton Classic this was one of the first things that you added to the schedule and I think it's true. I've become truly a mean meaningful event. Absolutely. It's funny you said it's the ninth year. I'll never forget how many years that's been going because this is my ninth year at the Hampton Classic. Um, it was something that really resonated. I thought, why not have a competition? The folks from Horse Ability, Katie McGowan, came to talk to me about maybe doing an exhibition. And the more we spoke, we thought, you know, well, let's not have it be a spectacle. Let's have a real competition. These are athletes and, and they can compete for ribbons, Hampton Classic ribbons that everyone wants to get in the, to hang in their home. Well, it is something special for them. They do compete all spring and summer to get here, but it's certainly something special for the Hampton Classic as well. Yes, it absolutely is. And, you know, we ha we've had some great partners um, also. Bridgehampton National Bank has been supporting this really since we started having this competition. And this year, actually, Hermes is getting on board with some support as well. Every champion, the three champions from, from the divisions today, will get Hermes coolers. So that's going to be really fancy. Well, that's so wonderful. They all deserve it. They are all winners, and we thank you so much, Jeanette. Thank you, Marty. Hey, congratulations to both our champion and reserve champion, Alexandria Economo and Emery Shastis, for our first division. Alexandria, you are a champion at the Hampton Classic. Can you tell us how it feels? It's amazing. Um, and this summer, you know, this mare that I brought today, she is a totally Western horse. So this summer, it has been challenging and rewarding. And, um, you know, my greatest competitor here today is my disability. So today, you know, just rising above that. Well, you honor. accomplished it very well. And it's an honor to win. So thank you. Well, we're proud of you. We're thrilled that you're here. Did you ride at the Hampton Classic before this year? This is my seventh year. So this is your seventh year, and is it the first year you're a champion? No, second time. Second time, but with a new horse. New horse, yes. New adventure. Well, you did super. We really congratulate thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Great. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Enjoy. You probably want to take your jacket off soon, I bet. <laughs> I'm melting a little. Yeah, it's hot. Look how I'm dressed and I'm hot. The horse's name. Uh, yeah, sure. My name is Melody. Melody. Yep, and my name is Dina Asaro. I'm a
We're with Katie McGowan, one of the founders of the Long Island Horse Show Series for Riders with Disabilities. Katie, tell us about this program. Hi, Marty. Thanks again for having us this year. Um, Lazard was, is uh, the Long Island Horse Show Series for Riders with Disabilities that is um, created about eight years ago. This is our eighth summer here with you. We're so excited. We created this show series so that way all riders have equal opportunity in the ring to um, be at recognized horse shows and have the great fun of being at the Hampton Classic. And you run a series of shows all spring and summer, and this is a championship final? Absolutely. We run between five and eight horse shows at recognized horse shows. They've been fabulous to us. The Salt River Horse Show, um, the Oldfield Farm, and the Thomas School of Horsemanship. They've hosted our shows. And, of course, the Hampton Classic hosts our, our magnificent finals. We we're always so thrilled to have you here. And how many riders do you have involved over the course of the season? So we can have as many as um, 10 or 12 riders in each division, and then um, at per show, we have about 40 riders that compete in the show series altogether, and there's up to 10 riders in each division that make it to the Hampton Classic. Well, I can tell you the Hampton Classic is thrilled to have you here, to have these riders be part of it, and we really commend you for what you do. Thank you, and thanks for having us. We love being here.